Hey guys and welcome to another video blog. I'm in my hotel now in Andong, Andong Hotel, aptly named. Uh, we made the trip today to come here. Last night I was still in the OGS house where I said my goodbyes to everyone. We had a very uh, warm uh, goodbyes with uh, some nice chicken dinner. And uh, yeah, I, I said my goodbyes to the place where I have been practicing uh, for a while and to the warm uh, people that have welcomed me there. I was very thankful and uh, I would love, I for one would love the chance to ever come back there and, uh, and train, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, today uh, we we packed up and we came here. We met up with some people at the airport, and then we took the journey to um, to Andong. It was supposed to take about three and a half hours, but we traveled from one till seven, uh, so it was like six hours. There were some breaks, and I guess it just took a whole lot longer. Parts of the road were a little bit scary. <laughs> uh, it was kind of a mountainous road and no street lights and then the bus driver was going like 80 kilometers per hour going over the the lane which is the from the opposite direction and then there were some unlighted scooter driving sometimes uh, it was a little bit scary but uh, we made it through all right um, and we got to the we got to the opening ceremony which uh, was pretty nice uh, warm speech from uh, Sugar Daddy of ISF who uh, bid us all caution to uh, watch out that it can be cold at night and uh, and very warm in the day so it's kind of a sweet words besides the standard opening uh, ceremony speech of uh, of growing esports and so on as last year, in 2011, over 400 players from 36 different countries will take part in the competition. The three main events of this year's championship are FIFA Online 2, ABBA, StarCraft 2, and 2. Sports can be enjoyed by anyone, anytime, anywhere with internet access and is gaining recognition as the sport of the future. Esports is a market where investment and support by the private sector and governmental organizations have been increasing in countries around the world. Due to such growth, international IT corporations are rushing to participate in the market and esports is becoming more popular as more Asian and European nations participate in esports events. Esports is becoming more popular year after year. While it is making quantitative growth as the number of various international tournaments increases, the system for administrating these tournaments is uncoordinated and fragmented. In terms of competitions held by the private sector, the persistence and stability of the events can't be guaranteed due to the changes in the decisions of corporations and organizers, and the lack of international standards in terms of events and regulations is limiting the growth of esports organizers. Um, then we had a we had the dinner as uh, as last year when I was at the ISF as well. The dinner was uh, really nice. They had a uh, squid, uh, surimi, beef, chicken, pork. Uh, they had rice, spaghetti, uh, sushi, salads, and uh, lots of things like clams. And
was very good dinner, and then uh, when we ate our fill, we were uh, we were in for the group drawing. So um, actually, I didn't know yet how the tournament system is going to be, or how the maps are going to be like, or anything. But uh, I heard that the opening. Uh, ceremony there was going to be the group drawing so that's always uh, an exciting uh, moment when everyone sees who they're paired up with uh, well as my name was called into the stage I, I drew one of the balls from the uh, from the box and my number was 30 which placed me eventually in group H as group A up to H eight groups and each one has three players uh, my two uh, group mates were uh, R Death Angel and um, what's his name? A oh, Brazilian guy. So I have two Zerks in my group and as I understood the group system will be a best of one uh, and in the groups it will be on a default map everything Van Niagara Caverns. So a little bit of a peculiar choice by the organization I can't say I truly agree with that because there's five maps and it could be some veto system or something like that but uh, gonna be one map for everyone simple and fast uh, don't know if they'll overturn it tomorrow or something like that, but uh, that's, that's how the system is now, so that's what I'm preparing for. Two maps, and uh, with three players, the top two will advance, so one will go out. I have to win at least one, but hopefully, of course, two to be safe. And then the number one from my group will meet the number two from group G, which is uh, Ciara, Softball, and more sure. uh, oh really so number two will meet the number one that's tomorrow it's now nearly midnight we have to wake up around seven or eight um, breakfast take the take the bus to go to the event and uh, yeah then it's gonna be fireworks I think that's it. <laughs>